Good morning, everyone. My name is Lafia. I'm the CEO and co-founder of ReachConnect.com. And I just want to take a moment to thank every single one of you. This public public figure page has has grown ex exponentially in such a very short period of time. And I just want to thank everyone who has been a part of that process. I'm overwhelmed and I hope that I am representing us well and I hope that I am resent representing a balanced view of some of the issues that we have in our community. So today we're going to talk about ageism and hierarchies and saluting. So the reason why we salute is to uh, pay honor to our Orisha. That's just what it is. That's how we're supposed to do it. And when I've been in forums and in person, I've seen something that bothers me a lot. And that is folks that are using the years that they've been initiated to somehow indicate that they have a certain assumed level of knowledge. And I'm going to tell you right now that that is fundamentally false. Your initiation just means that you're initiated. It does not mean that you have the knowledge and experience to make a generalized statement. It doesn't mean any of that. Study means that. I have been witness to non-initiates drop do bombs, knowing their stories, knowing their pataki, and then initiates that have done nothing with their crown, that have done nothing past becoming initiated. And so I hope that this trend of saying, I think blah, 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 and then when they're challenged on that, they say, oh, well, I've been crowned for blah, 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 blah years. And it's like, so? Those years mean what? Relevant to the, your expertise on this topic. Because you could have so many years and never have practiced anything. And it's just, it's incredible. It's incredible how this ageism has developed. It's like when you are being saluted, you're being saluted because of how long the Orisha has been in your head. It's not, a, a, it's not saluting you. It's not saluting your ego. It's not about you. And I just, I don't subscribe to it. And I'm one of those children that was brought up in a very traditional household when it came to respect for elders. So I have always been in positions to where I am in service of my elders. And for me, which is probably not going to be the most popular thing to say, and I'm sure everybody's going to have a pin an opinion about it, but I'm very uncomfortable with elderly folks saluting me. I remember um, a woman, you know, three times my age, you know, trying to get down to salute me. And I was on the ground with her looking her eye in the eye because I cannot fathomably say to myself that, you know, you're saluting the Orisha in me and I'm disregarding the years that you've had in this life on this earth. So we were looking like this because I was very uncomfortable with an elderly woman saluting me. So I was like, we, if, we're, if it's going down, we're going down together. And it makes me so uncomfortable that I even avoid environments where it's likely to, to happen because that's just who I am. And again, this is me. This is not anybody else. And I'm not dictating to anybody else to do what spirit moves you to do. I am uncomfortable with it. And so I'm hoping that this trend of throwing how many years that you've been initiated out there as some kind of receipt of knowledge, that needs to stop. Logic doesn't have to be loud. Re uh, knowledge is knowledge. You, it doesn't matter how many years it took to come about to get it. Knowledge is knowledge. So yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I am so... I'm excited about hearing about what you all think about this and the hierarchy and the ageism that's present in our community. So let me know. Let me know. Like, comment, and share. Get this around because I am having a good time just seeing what my people think. All right, folks. Until next time. Bye-bye.